everybody and welcome to another episode of True Crossing Will of Live. Well, we're going to be showcasing a raid. Are you sick of Hadros looks? You know, every day almost, it seems, we have a unique, oh sorry, not an apex, apex raid. And sometimes they're easy, like Mortem or uh, what's it called? The Cy Ceratopsian one, Cyano, whatever. Ceramagnus, that's it, I think. Uh, and other times they take a long, long time. Or are complicated, like the Gorgo Trebex. God! With Hadros Lux, what if I was to tell you there was a certain raid that you could do in game that would take two turns per round? And as you know, Hadros Lux is four, freaking four rounds. And if it takes three or four turns each round, it, the raid can take pretty much quarter of an hour, if not half an hour, which is ridiculous. But I'm going to be showcasing a, a, a kind of simple um, raid that a lot of you guys might even be able to do because if you you know if you're quite high up or you play the game a lot, you've probably got Mortem Rex unlocked, and it requires two Mortem Rexes, a Turmolek as all does, and an Indoraptor Gen Two. How crazy is that? But before we showcase this raid, I want to show you what's coming up in this week's showcase. So here it is, the showcase, one of the better um, weeks that we've ever had. So as you know, well, today's Tuesday when this is going up, you've got the Velociraptor, the Allosaur, the Demetrodon Gen 2, the Tarbosaur, a good variety if you're needing any of those. On Wednesday to Thursday, we have a Dilophosaur, Spinosaur, Utah Raptor, Spinosaur being a good one, and so Dilophosaurus as well, now that we have a new uh, hybrid, which is the Ovilophosaurus, whatever it's called. Um, Friday to Saturday is an even better one, because we have an Acrocanthosaurus to dot. And if you're a, you know, a new player, you've also got T-Rex to dot too. And on the Sunday, which is really why this is the best one, you can dot one of either Fordolololosaurus or Trichosaurus. Now, if, uh, you know, if you know me, you dot a Thordor. No, you wouldn't, because that would be stupid. You don't do that. <laughs> of course you're gonna to want to dot the Trichosaurus. I mean, that's, that's hands down something that has been in the meta ever since it was released, really. The Trichosaurus has been one of these uh, dinosaurs that has just, I don't know, just kind of, it has been nerfed in some cases when it, it had a speed reduction uh, counter. Um, and a, like it went through armor, now it kind of doesn't do that, it doesn't break shield or anything. I don't think it ever broke shield, but it definitely slowed down, it doesn't anymore. But, no matter what changes have happened to Trichosaurus, whether good or bad, it's still used heavily in the meta. So, Thordor has kind of went up and down. At the start, it was used a lot. And then it kind of just went to, you know, <laughs> it kind of used and it's it's basically like a watered down Mortem Rex, basically. And Mortem Rex is a much better Thordor. Um, so I would say Trichosaurus, but that was the uh, the lineup. So we've got some really good ones. We've got on the Friday a Dakota yeah. Raptor as well, um, Incubator. Anyway, let's get on with the raid, shall we? Okay, so I am going to throw up the strategy right here. So as you can see, it's... Um, it's pretty easy and very short. If you're the two Mortems, you just go for Raw on the first turn, and the second turn, you go for the biggest hit you can, which should hopefully kill the Hadros, and you'll all be good. That's it. It depends what, what's the health in the turret. 3,060, yeah, I think. Uh, okay, we're giving it a shot. We're giving it a shot, and it's in the day. We never, do we? Do we always? No, we never get to see things in the night. Or is it always the night? Either way, it's in the day. <laughs> so when it comes to strategies, strategies with raid bosses, um, there's always like a few different ones out there. But I don't know. I think that this one is probably the best that we could do. I mean, it's the simplest, like two Mortems. At this point, who doesn't really have a Mortem? Um, and you just need to, it's two turns each. And the thing is with the Hadros, it's its usually about three. Uh, with the second round maybe just being two, because you just need to kill it. You, like, you don't need to worry about like setting up for the next turn. So with the two Mortems that get the speed boost, um, we have, yeah, <laughs> this first round, I think the Hadrosaur looks, just goes for like an instant shield, and then goes for a, uh, a heal the next turn. So it doesn't do anything if I remember right. Now, I'm not too sure if this is gonna work just because we have a really low level Turo, but if it does, 
that's gonna be quite amazing. And it just shows um, that you can do this with a level 23 Turo. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, has anybody got any cool emojis? I have that one. Who's got the Brachistachosaurus? There it is! <laughs> I knew it was gonna go for new. <laughs> okay, so first round over, minions killed. Um, you know, some, some solid hits dished out from the Hadro looks. But, oh, look at, look at the two morms, man. They look sweet. They look so cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Right. And the thing is, it does take a while. So here we go. So it's going to go for a big heal here. And, oh, there's the T-Rex. Another one they had to buy, I think. I could be wrong, though. Don't kill me in the comments. <laughs> so a great emergency heal on who? Oh. I mean, I would have just went for a, 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 a regular heal. Just to heal the other, uh... Do the modem. I don't even think you need to abide by the strategy there. If the strategy does say I don't need because I'm not looking at it because I don't really need to. I would say just go for the flipping um what you call it? Just go for the regular heal, because in this case that's kind of what we need. Um because it would have healed both modems. But hey ho, I don't need the heal, it's fine. <laughs> so here comes the first big hit. 9,900 damage. Um yeah, that's right, pointed laugh at the fool. Now look, see, and now I'm I'm not doing too hot here now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm only going to ever be hit by the uh, 6,000. Oh, that's terrible. That makes me cry. <laughs> so we're doing this with the Black Diamond Alliance. Uh, another incredibly helpful alliance has helped out some of my... Um, uh, some members that we've sort of like transferred for the uh, Sanctuary and stuff really helped them out. So much appreciated. Well done, guys. Well done. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing again. Hadros here. Okay, it went for shield, then heal. Now it's going for an instant distraction, which um, the... Where is... Oh. Wait, where is... Um... Oh, I was going to say, is it slowed? Indogentu must have been slowed there. And there's that, a cleanse. Oh, it must be a cleanse. Oh, okay. Sweet. So we're going to get the group destruction, but of course then we've got the mutual fury, which is another cleanse, I think. I mean, I'm assuming it's a cleanse. Yeah, it would make no sense <laughs> if it wasn't a cleanse. Oh, this is sweet. I love this. So now the thing is, this strategy works really well because they don't have a chance to uh, capitalize on the amount of mutual furies that we give them, except for the counter on the, um, yeah, see, this would have really helped if we just, like, I mean, I guess now he can go for the, the, the greater heal on me. If he goes for a heal, like a regular heal, I'll be annoyed because I need it now. <laughs> so there you go, they're knocked out. Now it depends what he goes for here. We need another distraction. Um, maybe, maybe a regular heal would be okay. Because I think this is the first turn that Hadrosaur looks will actually attack. Um, so we made it almost halfway uh, through this without really being hit by anything. And the only thing that's hit us is the counter from the Hadrosaur looks. But I'm now expecting a big... Oh, it's a shield! I think the shield hits everybody, though, if I'm right. Yeah, it's going to do 1,600 damage um, to somebody. Yeah, yeah, in comes the regular heal. Now, we probably should have done the regular heal anyway on the last turn. Because, I mean, yeah, we'd, we'd be... I think would both be pretty much fully healed. Um, yeah, a good a good one here coming from the uh, Indo, just to make sure that it has a chance to dodge. Because I think does it nullify on it? Oh, it removes the dodge. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, a little hit will do. <laughs> and Hadrosaur is going to put up the shield now. I don't know whether when oh the crit twelve thousand four hundred damage. The point of laughs. <laughs> oh, put the damage back. Don't like. Um, and what what can you do? Doesn't get the crit. Whoa, 6,000! Pathetic! <laughs> you, you really need to boost that thing a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, more, it, it, just for the, just for the lulls, really. That's what you need. Oh, here it comes. No crit, so that's good. Because there could have been a chance ever could. Oh, I'm dying! I'm dying! <laughs> I need the greater heal. I'm gonna need the greater heal now. It depends. I think is he gonna go for a hit this time? So so far that's the first hit. It's a shield. It's not the biggest hit. Now, again, Hadrosaur Lux still has the um Oh wow, the yeah, uh, yeah, this is not looking good for me. Gonna be taking another hit. Um and a mutual fury coming from the Indoraptor. Ugh, 
this is when the Toro more like we needed a high level Toro to heal more because the more high level it is, the more damage it can also have, that meaning the more heal it can do. So at this point, Hadrosaur looks, it, oh, is it not gonna be hit? Oh, it's just a group. Oh, oh thank God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> the thing is 1,600 if you got a crit. Oh boy. Okay, so there comes a mutual fury through, great. Um, and then hopefully we're just gonna, I mean, we, 8,200 damage. Uh, 6,000 coming through from me, and then the other one's just gonna finish it off, yeah. Uh, it's a shame that- Oh, we're gonna need the greater heal, though! <laughs> Screw the Witch King, I need to heal you, please! Steal, please! <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, he can, t he can tank a few hits, he's fine, he's above half health! That's why I shouldn't have put so much speed on me, Mort. But as you can see, this is like the best tactic, just cause, well it is, it is the best tactic. It, for, if you've got two Morton players, they don't need to even think. You just go da 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 da. And when it comes to this game, you're spending so much time anyway, uh, on everything else. Like the raid boss, if you're doing raids every day, what's that, three raids a day? If not four, you've got the legendary, the unique, the uh, the epic and the apex so it's four a day and you, if you're just rattling through this it's gonna take forever so any time saved is much needed there we go ho, 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 ho. pretty good yes <laughs> this is good yes get that get that attack down we need him because he's got two mutual furies on him <laughs> so that would be a lot of damage coming back is it a thousand i think oh it's only 600 oh okay so here we go can we kill him in one bite can we do it? Oh boy, yeah! Does it, don't even need the other mortem for this. Oh dear. Oh, 626. No. Oh. And then comes. Oh, he did get a crit. Oh, we didn't get to see how much he did, though. <laughs> oh, bless. Poor Witch King. Well, there you have it. Got hit again. So I think this next turn, he's probably. Oh, wait, this is the last turn. Oh, hold the phone. This is where I was worried. And there you have it. That's where I was worried. That's where I was worried. I was worried that that was going to happen um, because the Toro was not strong enough. Now, we don't have the speed boost on us. Uh, we're not going to be getting the Mutual Fury from the, uh, the what do you call it? From the Indoraptor. And like I said, I did think from the start we were going to need... Oh, no. Wait, hold on. This actually, oh no, it will be bad. It will be bad because the Gorgo will still be um, attacking. So that means that the Gorgo is gonna have a lot of attack and he's hitting somebody with the lowest HP, which unfortunately, oh, and the thing is the Endlodon's faster. So, <laughs> yeah, we didn't even kill the Endlodon, man. Needed, needed that, needed, uh, there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's no, and the Mutual Fury is coming through, and the Endon's just gonna, yeah. So 23, level 23, Turamolok is not strong enough. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> just to come back into this battle here for a second. <laughs> Almost died. I don't even know how that happened, because I didn't even kill them. Do I, I normally kill the Entelodon in one hit. I guess it's for some odd reason the Turmolok attacked Hadros Lux instead of uh, Entelodon, so that's interesting. Huh, that's the first time that happened, I wonder why. Must have slowed down something. <laughs> God, um, I'm just wondering whether it's better to, yeah, heal everybody or go for like a group heal. Sorry, a, a singular heal, which would be on me. Yeah, it would probably heal me all the way, but then everyone else is kind of not doing too hot. <laughs> so yeah, it probably makes sense just to heal everybody. Fair enough. So we're jumping back into it. Hopefully doing a lot better this time. Uh, Turmoil looks much better. Although for whatever reason, I almost died like you just saw. <laughs> but this should be a lot of heal. I'm not sure, like 3,000? This this is where somebody died. <laughs> Although we have three attack uh, nerfs now on top of the Hadros look. So it's oh, it's still doing 626. Um, it just depends who takes damage here. Because I think this hits 
the fastest. So that's gonna be the Turamolok. And last time, the Turamolok died. So you obviously don't want to die this time. It's probably why it group healed itself. Yeah, so it had 3,000 in odd health last time. This time it's got 6,000. So yeah, <laughs> it's got 2,700 extra health. And this time, we didn't die. How crazy is that? And that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be going. So this time, I'm wondering if the Turmolo, when it goes for its speed boost, will attack the Endodon this time? I'm really not too sure why. Really not too sure why. Yeah, see, now it's going for the Endodon. But last time it hit the Hadrosaur Lux, which is the weirdest thing. I don't know whether that was a glitch, because that's the first time I've seen that happen. Because normally I end up killing the Endodon, but obviously I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough attack if I don't get a crit, but we're about to do it. And that's, so basically just imagine the last battle, but it ending this way. So there we have it. So we've got a group brawl, kills. Yeah, there you go, that time I got a crit. I think I might have killed Antodon first hit that time with 6,000 and odd damage. So yeah, I would have. With a crit, I can kill Antodon. Oh God. <laughs> so am I gonna be able to kill it though? Am I? Ooh, I think I do 12,000 damage, don't I? So, Turmolic will go first. If it gets it below 12,000 damage and I get a crit, which is 40% chance, I think. Which, let's, let's be honest, isn't really 40%. It's, a, it's about like 30% it feels. <laughs> but this should be it. This is the last round. It it, unfortunately, I didn't show it, but the first round, uh, Hadrosaur Lux survived with 200 health. So I think there is an average that your uh, Mortem Rexes need to attack out uh, output. So they need like to, together, they need to have a combined attack of like 5,000 and odd in order to get it to die um, in two hits. But saying that though, I'm just curious of whether or not this could be a three Mortem strat because all um, uh, yeah, I guess maybe not. I guess maybe you need the Indominant Indoraptor Gen 2 um, to distract it. That's what Indo Gen 2 is there for. And I think no matter what, I think I've probably killed it here. I think 9,000 damage? Oh no. It would be, I'd do 6,000, I think. But I've got the attack increase, which is 9,000. So yeah, no matter crit or not. But there it is! 12,000 damage takes down the uh, Hadrosaur looks. Did I really need to do it? No, not really, but there it is. So there you have it, guys. We'll see what we get, because I very rarely actually open up these ones. I think you just get like the the, the terrible uh, 63 rounds. Oh, Lydia, please increase the prices of that. It would like maybe don't have um, the, uh, the Hadrosaur Lux DNA up for grabs again, but it would be really cool to have like you know, you don't get the, the apex or whatever, but you get better, you get more epic DNA or something like that. You know, when you do the, the actual incubator, you get the rare DNA, but you also get a half decent amount of rare and common DNA. How about the, the runner up when you've done it all the time to help, because you want to increase incentive to people to play, to play with each other. That would be pretty decent if, you know, they got better rewards in general, but not like, not like 32 rare. There's no point in doing that. But anyway, guys, we're gonna end it up here. Um, because, I mean, there's nothing else. You've seen it. We, we've showed it. I think from here on out, if you have, or you know people in your alliance that have two Morton Rexes that are pretty high boosted, this is the strat to go for. Two Morton Rexes, take on Hadrosaur Lux, and then you've got Hadrosaur Lux, a raid that takes ages. Over in, over in half the time. Well, I mean, if each round was three, six, nine, twelve, you know, 12 turns, now it's two, four, six, eight. You know, you, you've shaved off a lot, a lot of turns. You've shaved off a whole round, basically. Round and a half. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you kiddies later. Bye-bye. Oh,